Mikel, the big games, Champions League, Premier League, are coming thick and fast at the moment. How much do you think your players, and indeed you, are relishing this stage of the season? Really enjoying the moment. This is where we want to be. Uh, we're in a really good position in the Premier League. And uh, we're in a really good position in the Champions League. Uh, we have a big task ahead of us against one of the, the most successful teams in Europe, clubs in Europe. And that's the hurdle that we have to overcome, and, uh, and we are really looking forward to it. I think Bayern's sporting director has said Arsenal are the favourites for this game, but how would you assess Bayern's threat given their poor league form and the season they've had? Top team. Um, I'm a big fan, big admirer of Thomas. Um, his teams, the way they set up, the way they play, what they transmit. I have learned a lot about him. And looking at Bayern, and when you analyze him deeply, uh, you see why they are a top team. So we have prepared very well, um, and we have to take our game uh, and take our game where we want it. And if we do that, we'll have a chance to win. The draw has thrown up Harry Kane's return to North London. Yeah. How do you stop him? Uh, it's not only him. I think it's the time function, uh, the individuals that they have, uh, and obviously we know the individual qualities of all those players and, and him in particular and the ability that he has. So. The best thing to do is what we do collectively uh, to try to prevent certain things. Do you, do you think his record against Arsenal can be a factor in this game at all? Do you, do you need to kind of pay attention? Hopefully, to hopefully not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what is it about him that makes him such a threat? Well, the consistency. When you look at his numbers over the last 10 years, it's unbelievable what he's done. So. Uh, he can score in many different ways. He's got the service, he's got the players around him as well to, to provide those opportunities. And uh, this is what we have to try to avoid. No away fans at this game you know, for the stage of the competition, quite unusual. Can it be a factor at all? Full house. Full house in the house, a lot of um, passion, emotion. And uh, we haven't had this opportunity for 15 years. So that says you how special this night is going to be for us. So we're going to have to put everything into every ball to make it happen. And just finally for me, a, maybe a, message, a, a question about the title race as well, because you're trying to combine that with, of course, winning the Champions League. I know Jurgen Klopp said at the weekend that if Manchester United play like they did on Sunday against Arsenal, then Arsenal will win. Did you have, do you have any thoughts on, on what he said about that? No, I can only talk about what we do. Okay. Gary? Raquel, um, looking back to Sporting and the exit then, you lost two players within 21 minutes, which was a massive shock. What have you, your team, in terms of having leaders on the pin pitch, how much have they grown and developed? Because they stepped into a next season when they're in the Champions League, it's a level up, but you're still fighting for the title. It feels mm -hmm. like your depth is stronger and your leadership is stronger over the pitch. Would you agree? Hopefully we are better. We have learned uh, for sure a lot of stuff over the last uh, few months. I think players have evolved. Um, we all have tried to improve and, and be better than we were a year ago. And, uh, and as you said, it's been a really demanding season. Obviously, it's a huge step for us to be in this competition and on top of that, uh, be competing in the Premier League the way we are doing. And this is the challenge, but as well, we are so excited to, to be part of that. Bayern Munich. 5-1, five, 5-1, one, five, one. it's being talked about. Is it coming anywhere near your dressing room? No, it's there. That's history. When you when you look at their history in the competition, um, it's clear. Um, their nature and their capacity to to perform at bigger stages, and, uh, and we have to prove that, that's for sure. There's always been this consistent belief for your players that have come off the pitch, even when they've suffered setbacks. Has that come from the hurt of just not getting over the line last season, or has it come from the training you've been able to put in since you come here? Hopefully it's in their nature as well. Something has to be within them, and we will try to inspire and get that part of them uh, as much as possible um, to become better, to be more competitive, and and have that resilience and that will to, to win and, and improve every single day. And if collectively you do that, I think the outcome is, is powerful. George? Mikel, just um, in light of the league table over the weekend, uh, and seven games to go in the league, um, more possibly in the Champions League, I just want, have you almost got to be near perfect from now until the end of the season to win what you want? Perfect in football is difficult. You have to be better than the opponent first. And then, yeah, when you have the moments, you have to be ruthless. And um, 
how we've been really consistent and um, and trying to be better than the opponents uh, lately, especially. And we have to carry on doing a lot of the things that we are already doing. But you must feel as a manager now that your team is they're looking pretty ruthless, aren't they, and strong? Yes, we are in a good moment and uh, and winning and performing the way we're doing. I think uh, it always helps and and bring really good spirits and and just be focused, be focused on on the next match and, and tomorrow is a big task, but uh, we are really looking forward to it. And I know you said you're a big admirer of Thomas Tuchel. Are you a little bit surprised at, at their form of late and where they are in the, in the league and will that have any relevance on tomorrow night at their league position compared to Europe? I don't know. The football is such a competitive environment and so difficult to be consistent that uh, this can happen to anybody. James, CBS. Oh, Miguel, sorry, this is a bit of a niche question, but um, the Gabriel's block on uh, against Brighton, Quite remarkable stat about the proportion of shots you block. It's somewhere like thirty-three percent. Is that something you work on? What does it tell you about your team that you're blocking so many of the shots on your goal? Yes, we do work on that, but hopefully, it's in, on the players' nature as well. Uh, we can't just allow the teams to to shoot in our goals. We have to prevent every possible scenario that occurs before that. And when it gets to that stage, okay, that's the the ultimate opportunity before our goalkeeper makes an intervention. So um, try to control everything that happens in in that chain. Art, athletic. Hi, Mikko. You talk a lot about the evolution of the squad, but I was just wondering for your evolution as a manager, the Porto game is obviously your first as a um, uh, Champions League knockout game that you manage. I was wondering for you, were there experiences that were quite new in mm. those games and how did you take those? Yeah, but I think that evolution is not in relation to to me. My evolution, I would think, it would be in many other areas, not just because of our results, um, but as a club, which is the most important thing. We haven't been in this position 14 years, the opportunity to go through the next stage 15 years. So that's for this club a long, long, long time. And and uh, we realize that, and that's why as well we have this this hunger and desire to, to make it happen. Claire? Uh, I just wondered, have you spoken to uh, Javi Alonso at all for some tips on how to beat Bayern? Great question, but I'm not going to answer that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, obviously, you, um, as a player, had lots of jewels with Bayern in an Arsenal shirt. I just wonder what you think the difference is between back then, because back then it was always seen as, as a mismatch that Arsenal couldn't maybe compete, but obviously now, for many people, Arsenal are favourites for this tie. How, how much of a difference do you think there is from when you were playing and, and, and now as a manager? I don't know. I can understand those debates, those opinions. For us, it's is irrelevant. We just focus on on the on the performance that we have to put in to beat a, a top, an exceptional team with exceptional individuals, and uh, and just we have to end every right in the pitch uh, to make it happen and and try to win the match. James, ESPN. Hi, Miguel. Um, Bayern have had a bad season by their standards. They've lost six league games. They're not going to win the league. The managers confirmed to be going at the end of the season, but. Is any of that relevant when it comes to a knockout tie like this? From my side, no. Uh, and as well as something that we have no say, no control, we don't know, uh, and we just expect all the time the best from your opponent. But against Bayern, against any opponent, against Brighton last week when we play Villa at the weekend, regardless of where they are, you always have to expect that they play in the in the best possible way and um, and be prepared to overperform them. So much criticism domestic all seasons. In a way, does it make them more dangerous when they come to a tie like this? Because they've got the know how, they've been there before. Hopefully not. <laughs> Hopefully not. Okay. The first leg obviously is at home. Mm. How does that change the dynamic of, of the tie? Is it important to tell the players it's not a 90 minute game, it's 100 minutes? Yeah, for sure. We know that uh, every knockout stage is like this. Um, the rules have changed as well, and uh, and that's very important as well. And, and you have to be able to. To manage the game and um, and the scenarios that can occur within those 180 minutes. And one here. Yeah. Hi, Mick. Um, Hi. There seems to be a bit of a fear no one mentality for this Arsenal side at the moment. How important is it that you try and take that attitude into the game on Tuesday to really show that you do belong among Europe's elite clubs? Yeah, that's something that uh, we're looking to do in every single match because if we are able to do it in one match and then not in three. That's not part of us, and we want to to make sure that things are ingrained within the team, and um, and we are consistent in delivering these type of things. and um, And I'm proud of what the team is showing, the character and the mentality that they're showing, and uh, we have to carry on doing it.